Hey, what's up, everyone? My name's Lionel, and I'm your host for LZ Productions. You are watching I Watch You Watch. Um, we are covering Hush. This is season two, episode eight. Now, I believe that this is the season finale, <laughs> and they brought out all the big guns. I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Uh, please like and share this video. Also, subscribe to my channel, and you can leave your comments below on what you thought of this episode and the whole season. All right, so we started off. Of course, Drea's getting ready for her big debut of her uh, Dr. Drea show, and I guess it's the portion where they have asked Dr. Drea. Meanwhile, Jordan is setting up for Link to get killed. Jordan is setting up uh, Link to get killed. Mona and Selena, they're sitting in the car. Link, uh, well, Link sends up Jordan to go do what she's supposed to do. Then we flip back to Jordan, uh, to Drea. She's talking with her therapist. I don't know about this therapist because she's quite interesting to me because she's kind of just going along with what Drea is saying to her. And it's like, you ought to know this girl by now, but you're also her friend. So it's kind of weird to see how she's just feeding uh, her therapist with a bunch of BS. She asked about her drinking and she's just uh, about sobriety. And she's like, oh, I got that all under control, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and she starts drinking, but she moves, she's on FaceTime, but she moves the camera so she can go and drink. So obviously, Drea doesn't have all this other control as she likes to think that she is, or, but whatever. Um, so the plan takes place with the murder of Blake. Jordan goes up there. She meets with Rashad, or Rashid. Uh, Selena set that up. The guys are in the hotel room. She ends up coming out. Um, Mona ends up taking Selena and um, Jordan to Drea's after party. That's going to be taking place. Um, Mona actually knows, did everything happen? Did everything go all right? They say, yeah. So, um, so the show starts with Drea. Drea has, you know, Julio and Gina. And of course, they're talking about the marriage and getting things back, every, everything back under control. Everything is going well. And then all of a sudden, Gina's mama is in the audience. And she reveals that Gina has a child. And for some reason, this was the breaking point for Julio to say that he was done with the marriage. He ended up exposing that. I know that you were sleeping with Iago also. And basically, their marriage is over. He breaks up with her and leaves her. I thought it would be a bigger explosion. Of course, it's a lot that's going on. But I would have thought Alejandro would have came out. And then also Iago on the stage to really embarrass her. But to just say you had a secret child that was brought out on camera, it's still like, okay, well, people are still going to empathize with the woman so I don't know about that and we find out that Drea paid the mama to come to the, the studio and to blast this music to the blast this news and he she paid her I said what the crap like Drea's doing all of this stuff just trying to get ratings of course Gina is pissed and upset um, once Selena and Jordan get to the party they link up with Gina well they hear about what has happened and they end up linking up with Gina and they go on attack with Drea. Oh, well, she, they're going to go on attack with her. Not yet. They want to talk about it with her first. Once Mona has dropped off Selena and uh, Jordan, she says, I know that my brother did not kill LeVar, my nephew. So she pulls out this gun. So Mona has this plan. What is she going to do? <laughs> we find out a little bit later that as she's driving down the street, we see her, and I think that this is Paige. She ends up shooting Paige a couple of times. I know she's dead, but she said, this is for Selena. Pop, pop, pop. I said, oh my God, oh my God. So at the after party, because Drea's very, feels accomplished because of what she has allowed to happen on her stage, Maxwell ends up proposing. And guess who comes in? Q. Q tries to be a distraction and saying, you know, you used to let me be around you 24 hours a day. And now there's nothing. Da, 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 da. They end up getting him out of there. And he goes to the car. I don't know if it's Maxwell's car or whatever, but he's pretty tore up. 
and he goes to the truck and I guess it's just there trying to uh, comfort his sorrows or whatever. So um, at this point, what happened? The ladies, they go uh, into the back room to comfort Gina and all that good stuff. They get some weed, <laughs> get a blunt. Selena pulls it out and they're like, Jordan was like, uh-uh. <laughs> we can't do that up in here. It's illegal. And Selena said, so I don't care. We need this tonight. So Gina's telling her all their woes and all that. And Gina's asking, oh, so what have, where have you guys been? But Selena nor Jordan will tell them what's up. Uh, <laughs> so they end up going out and confronting Drea about this whole situation. Drea is like, I didn't have anything to do with this. Da, 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 da. They get out into the hallway because at this point, Maxwell is going to get his car and Drea's going to go get her car. They're arguing and all this good stuff. Maxwell goes out into the parking lot to a car, but it's where Q is at. Try, he's kind of almost knocked out and he puts a, a, a needle in his neck and it knocks him out. So I don't know what's about to happen, but Maxwell ate up to no good as I knew from the beginning of this season. So Drea was like, and even as they're trying to really talk to her, they're like, did the plan actually work? As we said, it was supposed to. They go back in time and talk about the plan and all that good stuff. So what happened after Jordan came, came downstairs, Link was called upstairs. He goes into the room because there's a double sweep. Jordan escapes and then comes downstairs. In the meantime, Link is shot and killed. Mona's okay with Link being shot and killed because she wants her place. She's selfish like that. She killed Paige. I don't know what she's going to do with, with a Selena. I don't know if she'll try to do something to Terrell or what, but ooh, bye, Paige. I mean, you were an op anyways. So at the meantime, the ladies are sitting there arguing and all this good stuff, and next thing you know, somebody who's in a hoodie and a mask and there's guns. I don't know who got hit and it was pointed at the girls. So my first thought who's going to be hit and possibly just die is Gina because the actress that played Gina, Erica Mena, got fired. And if you know anything of what has happened, she said some racial slurs and it has ended up biting, biting her in the butt. She lost her reality show job that she has with Love and Marriage Hip, Hip Hop. And Hush also said that um, she won't be playing, she won't be playing the character after season two because they already shot the, the season. So it's kind of interesting to see because her exit would be kind of beautiful at this moment because I'm trying to figure out where her character can go. And Erica Mena was kind of missing out of a lot of scenes this season. So I don't know. That's my first thought. Uh, we shall see. Oh, my God, I forgot. So, Mayor Claire, she came home. Guess what she found? Lloyd with another lover. So she ended up grabbing her gun and went into this frenzy of just shooting and shooting and shooting. Blood, 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 blood everywhere. So you can say that she went into this psychotic blackout and killed this man. Lloyd was talking about trying again in the marriage. She didn't really know. She was kind of disgusted at it. Like, Ugh, I don't really want to do that. That was another ending. I said, oh my God. <laughs> so everything that Drea has tried to do has become a mess, except for TV show, of course. I don't know where it's going, but it looks like the three girls are kind of linked together. They know that they've got to trust each other against Drea, even though in some type of way, Drea holds a thumb under them. But wait until Mona... Mona's going to be something different this upcoming season, and I'm glad because she was kind of in the background this season. But I just say bravo to Hush. Y'all really stepped up season two. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it better than uh, season one. Y'all stepped up in the fashions, the wigs, and the storytelling. I loved it. And even though I know Link had to go, I really enjoyed the actor that played Blake. He was pretty good also. But that's all I do have. Please tell me your thoughts in the comments below on what you thought of the season and even in this episode. Who do you think got killed? What's going to happen to Claire? 
I don't know. But that's all I do have. Again, I appreciate everyone for coming to my channel. Please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Until the next one, peace. Thank you.